The intention of this movie is to provide an overview of the new features that are associated with the spot removal tool in Camera Raw 8. So if I select the tool from up here in the bar, you can see over on the right that the controls here at the top for the spot removal tool, these are exactly the same as before. But there is now a Visualize Spots checkbox that is down here at the bottom, and I'll come onto that at the end. But for now, let me just show you how I go about removing some sensor marks from this picture. So if I click on the image, clicking on that sensor mark, uh, you can see that what happens is exactly the same as before. Where you click creates a circle spot, a destination circle spot, and it auto creates a sample spot at the same uh, same time. And this is all auto calculated within Camera Raw. But what is new now in Camera Raw is that if I use the forward slash key, this will auto select a new place to sample from each time I press the keys. So if you find that the first time that it auto calculates, you don't like the result, then just press the forward slash key and keep clicking until you find a better match. Then if I click and drag with the spot removal tool, you'll see that what's new is that now instead of allowing me to manually determine where the, uh, des where the source point should be, which was the case in previous versions of Camera Raw, what happens now is that it creates what is known as a brush spot. And this is a manually defined uh, area that you can create just by clicking and dragging. And so in this instance, the um, destination is indicated by a red pin and the source is indicated by a green pin. And you can use the forward slash key to auto calculate a new place to sample from just as you can for brush, sorry, for spot circles or you can just click and drag to manually define the relationship between the two. If you want to uh, repeat the old behavior where you can manually click and drag to define the destination and the source, then all you need to do is hold down the command key on a Mac or the control key on the PC and click and drag so that where you first click that creates a destination circle spot and where you drag to, that defines the position for the source spot. And as I release the mouse, then that um, applies the, uh, the source where I, where I last left the mouse. But you can click inside there and drag to reposition. And also as before, um, if you adjust the perimeter size by clicking and dragging, you can uh, post adjust the size for any of one of the um, circle spots. And then if I hold down the Alt key, this will allow me to delete an individual circle spot or brush spot. And then if I hold down the Alt key and marquee drag in a picture, I can determine which of the brush spots and circle spots I would like to select from the image. And then when I release the, the mouse, they will both be deleted. So now let me show you a little bit more about brush spot behavior. If I click to select this image, down here. I should mention though first that um, there is also a separate movie available on the website in which I go into more detail about working with brush spots um, or rather the brush spots mode with the spot removal tool. So to show you how this works let me just click and then hold the shift key down and you can see that um, when I use the shift key, this allows me to create a straight line between those two points. And as before, I can use the forward slash key to get it to auto calculate to select from a new area in the picture. So remember that if you hold down the shift key, when you click and drag, this will constrain the, um, the area to a straight line. And then if I perhaps zoom in on this area up here, also using the shift modifier, you can use it to um, apply a, a connect the dots uh, type of selection. So if I click and then hold down the shift key, each time I click with the shift key held down, this creates a straight line between those two points that I click. As I say, it's like a dot the dot, uh, dot the dots connecting sort of fashion. And then as always, you can use the forward slash key to auto select a new area to sample from. Then lastly, if I select this image over here, let me show you how to work with the visualized spots. So we have a photograph here where there's clearly quite a lot of sensor marks on this image. If I check the visualized spots box and then 
adjust the slider you can see this adjusts the threshold view that you can see here and the thing to be careful of is that although as I drag to the right this reveals more spots it may not actually be revealing spots at all it could just be revealing um, texture in the image or spots that are too small to really be of any significance so you need to try and sort of de determine where would be the best place to set that slider to provide the most useful preview for you to use it to automatically work out um, where the best spots are or where the, where the locations are on the image that need the most attention. So if I now adjust the cursor size and then just click to remove those spots, they're easy enough to see. And I can just get rid of them one by one. And then with this one here, I'd need to click and drag, I think, to get rid of that. And, um, and then with this little one down here, I think I need to be really careful to make sure that I don't get any unwanted detail being picked up there. OK, that looks fine. So now if I switch off that option there, you can see now is the now we can see the uh, the full image. And if I deselect the show overlay option, we can see more clearly the result of how the image looks after all that retouching. And if I compare this with the before version, I can do so by unchecking the preview box. And you can see there's the before and there's the after, after carrying out all the retouching. So that concludes this movie, looking at a brief overview of working with the spot removal tool and what's different and has changed in Camera Raw 8. And as I mentioned earlier, don't forget that there is also a separate movie available on the website in which I, sh which I give you a more detailed um, uh, over overview of working in brush spots mode.